my first Nobel Prize will be uh, not just for science, but the way that I can use science to help people of uh, all backgrounds and all walks of life. So that will of course be a Nobel Peace Prize. So I work on an international collaboration. Uh, we work on an experiment called the Snow Plus Experiment, which is an upgrade of the original Snow Experiment, which of course won the Nobel Prize here at Queen's University. So what we're doing here is we're investigating uh, very specific properties of one of the fundamental particles of the universe called the neutrino. And we believe these properties can answer many questions that are still uh, investigated these days in, in the most basic circles of science, including how the universe formed to begin with. So uh, my first Nobel Prize should be on um, making asphalt and bitumen roads uh, with more efficiency and uh, great recyclability if we can have 90% old asphalt pavements used for that with 10 new ones just coming in asphalt cement. So uh, I'm actually looking forward to achieving that so that we have good roads and the credit goes to the person who has worked on that. So currently I'm uh, wrapping up my postdoc in a clinical research setting, so I'm, I'm looking at how breathing mechanics and how we breathe changes overnight and how that happens in people who are sort of considered healthy normals or healthy controls, but more specifically how that changes in people who have a background of lung disease and how it is that the night is a period of vulnerability in these populations where their breathing mechanics do change quite dramatically and I'm, I'm trying to understand why that is and how we can maybe better address that to help both with the functional side of things but ultimately also the symptoms that people perceive with breathlessness and other symptoms that happen overnight. Students uh, getting people who are passionate about an issue, giving them the opportunity to study it, to learn, you, you don't know what's going to come out. Every great discovery in history has come largely from serendipity. So we have to give people the opportunity to interact with other brilliant people, to do some research and to, to flesh out their ideas and there's no telling what benefits will come to society.